Hey guys, Kathy Rankin here with your weekly soaps roundup, and just when you thought it couldn't get any crazier on the soaps, it did get crazier. First on The Bold and the Beautiful, Thomas miraculously regained consciousness and told Detective Sanchez that he wasn't pushed, but rather just randomly fell off the cliff. Now Ridge visited Flo in jail and vowed to make her pay for what she'd done. Flo in turn claimed Thomas may have killed Emma, and Ridge later confronted Thomas, who admitted chasing Emma in his car when she ran off the road, and he left her there. Coming up, Ridge strikes a deal involving Thomas and flow. Over on Days of Your, Our Lives, you guys, it is killing me. Everyone seems to be dying and have nine lives. Vivian Alamein was the latest dead Salamite to be brought back to life thanks to Dr. Rolf's serum, and she had a score to settle with Kate, who she shot and buried in an empty cemetery plot. Well, I guess she's not one to waste time with her newfound resurrection. Meanwhile, Eric was reunited with the very much alive Nicole and Holly, while Sarah confirmed she's pregnant, and when Julie suffered a heart attack while apologizing to Gabby, Gabby thought she was faking, and what do you do? She left her for dead. Well, you know, what are you gonna do? Coming up, Kate escapes her grave very much alive. I think the writers at Days need to calm down a little with the extreme life and death themes. Can we not come back down to Earth and work on some more relatable plots? Okay, over on General Hospital. Franco, who still believes he's Drew, shared a kiss with a conflicted Kim. Now, Andre resurfaced and was stabbed by an unknown assailant, but of course he survived. Now, Sam and Jason discovered that Drew's plane to Afghanistan vanished from the radar and never arrived. So maybe it flew over the Bermuda Triangle? Okay, in other plots, Sasha recovered from the bird flu, which I have no idea why this was even part of any plot. It's so pointless. Finally, in Pentonville, Nell offered to help Shiloh reunite with Wiley. Coming up, Julie and learns that Brad and Lucas adopted Michael's son. Now, on The Young and the Restless, you guys, Chloe and Kevin hid an unconscious Billy at the Chancellor Boathouse after he tried to run down Adam, and they sent a text from his phone to his family stating that he was actually in rehab. Wait, is this the same boathouse where Neil kidnapped Hillary years ago? Let me guess, they're waiting for an excuse to reuse an old set. Well, when Billy came to, he didn't even recall attempting to kill Adam. Why? And believing Victor tried to run him down, Adam had Phyllis hack into Victor's medical records and later switched his father's meds. Oh boy, this is gonna get ugly. In happier news, Jack made an impromptu trip to the Pine Forest Inn and Spa and left Kyle in charge as interim CEO in Jabot while he was gone. Boy, this means only one thing, you guys, disaster is coming. And Devon and Nick began to suspect Chance may be the one challenging Catherine's will. Coming up, Paul is forced to shut down the Grand Phoenix's big opening night party. Oh, how fun. All right, that's it for this week. We'll see you guys next time on the Weekly Soaps Roundup.